the new way to travel with carry-on only. But a big ask for a family of four mm. going on a five-week European vacation. Sunrise Consumers correspondent Sean White Oof. has their story. Can they do it? It is the ultimate holiday experiment, guys. Uh, and one Aussie family, they've aimed high. Each member was allocated just seven kilograms of luggage. Uh, so let's find out how they're going. When it comes to travelling overseas, the carry-on challenge isn't for everyone, but the Carlo family certainly gave it their best shot. The idea of lugging those horrendously huge, rolly suitcases that you see people actually have so much trouble with on cobblestone streets in Europe, that just wasn't for us. Well, Lise Carlo is the presenter, producer and co-host of the Lise and Sarah Show podcast. Along with her husband and two boys, they set off on the ultimate European adventure. I am currently in team in the French Alps and we're coming into week three of a five week mega holiday that we've been waiting for for about 10 years. So what are the key takeaways from this experiment? We'll take the time to prepare and be intentional with what you need. I had an entire room in our house that I called the Europe room and that was dedicated to me going down and culling, reorganising. Lee's found crossbody satchels are great for the whole family when you're out and about. But the key tip, choose Airbnbs over hotels as they have laundry facilities. To be honest with you, we only ever do one small load of laundry every four to six days. Our own Sunrise GP Ginny Mansberg is a big fan of the tip as she also travels carry-on only. And one of the biggest traps Aussies fall into, restrictions for liquids, aerosols and gel items. For international flights, it's up to 100 mils or 100 grams. And they need to fit into one transparent plastic bag. Get small containers of things like your skincare, your shampoo, your conditioner. Uh, and then even if you have two of them, you can throw them away as you go. Try to switch as many toiletries to solids where you can, like a shampoo, conditioner or soap bar instead of liquid. Ginny also shares a laptop charger with her partner because they're really heavy. When it comes to clothes, a capsule wardrobe is key. Mix and match things. In my case, I just wear black and navy and I just sort of swap them out so I can just change a top or change a jacket and what I wear during the day pretty much goes at night. But what's the reason so many Aussies are turning to carry on only? Well, firstly, lost luggage post pandemic has become a huge issue, especially for those on connecting flights. Packing less also means carrying less and you avoid the checked luggage lines. And the guy who weighed our luggage actually gave us a round of applause. One of the air hostesses came up to take a photo with us, which was hysterical. Oh, go the Carlaw family. Round of applause, done, please. Yes, wow. well done. So in Dubrovnik, actually, they have a, a rule that they've brought in with uh, noise pollution because of all those rolly, heavy bags going through <laughs> oh. the cobblestone streets. Yeah. Most probably Aussies, so uh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, good luck on a winter holiday, too. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that, I'm in awe of that. Mm. I could not do that. What would you struggle with? Is it the liquids thing? No, because I don't take that many, you know, products. Mm. It's just the clothes. Mm. I'm hopeless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>